Hey gang, how are you today? Thank you for joining me. My nails are fucked. Um, welcome back. If you are new here, then hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuffs. That's about it. Often swear in the process. Uh, I'm going to do some quick and easy Halloween designs here. We are taking Tiger Lily and Miss Sunshine from Gel Perfection. The labels look a bit battered. They have actually changed their labels so they 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 can endure more um you know acetone and prep solution and things like that now although mine are probably tatty just because i'm messy and um, so i often have to wipe my bottles with things that i probably shouldn't be wiping them with uh just because i'm a messy fucker uh i have done an ombre with those two colors i think i used too much orange there so i kind of try and rectify it with this coat um and then that will be cured. Don't worry about it being too neat or whatever. Um, as I say, we're going for quick, easy designs. Um, and we're going to put a spider web over this anyway. So you're not going to sort of be staring at just the ombre. So don't worry. Don't worry. Just do do it however. Um, I'm taking blackout. And I'm going to do the spider web with this. I'm going to do the these uh these lines the what do i call them lines <laughs> first and then i'm going to just half cure them so that they stay in place um before the next step um what was i about to say oh i don't know why i ask ask that like who knows i'm in a room by myself who am i who am i expecting an answer from um yeah i don't know it's gone uh this bit here is uh we're just doing u shapes just curves in between each line um i don't do a very neat job um this is the second time i filmed this video so this is every nail in this video i've already done it um but i lost all the footage from my sd card uh so i'm having to do it again the enthusiasm was significantly lower than the, 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 than the first time i did it um but I figured spider webs aren't perfectly neat and symmetrical anyway, are they? I don't know. I've never intentionally gotten that close to one. I've walked through some before. Have you ever done that? Walked through a cobweb? And you're like, oh my god! It's everywhere! Oh, it feels horrible. Um, so it's not that neat. And I kind of wish I'd left it like that. But I got carried away and went over the whole nail. I quite like it when you've just got some of the straight lines sticking out without any curved lines wisping off at the end. But, uh... Yeah, got a bit carried away. Uh, so I'm topping that with diamond gloss, of course, of course. If you've noticed, I am a bit nasal again today. There's a fucking surprise. I'm always nasally. Uh, allergies again. And I was going through the voiceover for this yesterday. Uh, and I, did ha I do have a normal voice, believe it or not. I don't know if anyone's heard it. Um, I had a normal voice yesterday. <laughs> but now I'm all sniffy and everything today again um i'm now i've done two coats of blackout and i'm now taking alaska which is the gel perfection white and we're going to draw some little triangles um and cure them actually no i think i put some dots on here as well uh, just to fill in the the gaps um we don't have candy corns over here much well, i say much do we have them at all i don't think so not that i've seen anyway i'm assuming they're kind of a gummy um like a mixture of i'm i'm thinking they're kind of like harry bows like texture um like gummy or maybe a bit like milk bottle milk bottles um let me know if you've had candy corns before what are they what's the deal what are they all about um and why are they associated with halloween i don't know but every halloween set i see on online at the moment has got candy corns on it so um i thought let's just just chuck a load of them at the nail and be done with it um oh pulling off some tissue because i'm so sorry for the sniffing i always sound like i'm not one of those ill people who's always ill it's just my allergies they're fucking horrendous at the moment um have i used up all my f's for the video i think so I'm now taking Miss Sunshine and Tiger Lily, which is the orangey yellow we used on the nail before this, and I'm doing little lines on some of the tri on all of the triangles, um, and some of the dots. The reason I did the dots in white first was so the colours would show up better um, on the black, um, and then taking the orange. I actually looked at a picture of these sweets because I figured it would go orange, yellow, white, just in a kind of you know rainbow aesthetic way, but they don't. All the pictures were yellow, orange, and white. If it's wrong, I apologise. I've never seen one in the flesh. 
so I'm doing that. I'm going to leave the bottom part white, put some tiger lily on some of the dots and then cure that. And I believe I topped this with make it velvet um, because it was um, not completely even, obviously, where it had all the different layers on. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. <gasps> OK, I paused to sneeze. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm topping this with Make It Velvet um, because you won't see... Oh, look, there's the first one. I think the first one's candy corns were better, but I do like the dots as well. Um, I'm now taking Alaska. I'm going to do two coats of that um, and cure those. Uh, what was I about to say? Do, do, do. Yes, the Make It Matte is good if something's got um, layers on because you're not going to get a light line off it, so you're not going to have like a wibbly-wobbly light line. Um, with matte because you, you don't have a light line because it's matte light matte light right where are we I'm taking ready or not uh, and I'm writing help and just wrote this really quickly no you know you don't need to be perfect the messier bubble um, the messier the better uh, making it wibbly wobbly so it I don't know I'm guessing I've done this to make it look like someone's written it in their own blood so they're obviously in a rather unfortunate situation. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to just do some scratchy, splattery, uh, blood looking stuff. You know, like, you know, when you bash someone's head in with a baseball bat, they have the kind of the way the blood splatters, spatters. Um, and you get these tiny little um, flecks of uh, blood everywhere. That's what happens when I do it anyway. Um so that's that really scribbly again we're going for quick easy you know can't really go wrong um kind of designs and then um i think that's it for this one sorry this is the noise of me um pulling tissue off so i can shove it up my schnage uh and then yeah i do go in and do a few more very tiny um, faint specks for the blood spatter oh my goodness found out today and I hope this is true um, that Dexter is going to have like a 10 episode special no or an 8 episode special or something like that um, soon I hope that's true because I've just recently rewatched it so it would be the perfect time for it to come out I loved that I loved that program so I don't know why this nail appears to be taking so long. I'm just stabby, pokey, jabbing at it um, for more blood. And that was cured. And we're topping it with diamond gloss. So it's all shiny. It's fresh blood. It's still wet, I guess. Uh, that's the first one I did. I, got, I think because some of them turned out better and some of them turned out worse than the original um, recording. So I was just showing you both of them at the end. Uh, I'm taking black out again. And I can't remember what this one is. I edited this a few days ago. I'm not sure which order I put them in. What the fuck is that noise? Hang on. Okay, false alarm. It was just a parcel getting shoved through the letterbox. Um, this is a ghost. Ghost. Have I said that already? Ghost. And he's just poking his, poking his little head around the corner onto the nail. Like, hello. Boo. Um... I'm going to do two coats of that. Um, oh, yes, I gave him a little arm. Just He's waving, so he's a friendly ghost. Um, or he's just, you know, pretending to be friendly, and then he's going to murder you in your sleep. I don't know. Um, so that will have two coats, and then I'm going to give him some eyeballs. Eyeballs? Do ghosts have eyeballs? I don't think so. Have you ever seen a ghost? I have seen three confirmed ghosts of real people. Um, they had eyeballs. They were kind of see-through though anyway um have you like tell me let me know in the comments if you've ever seen i love ghost stories so i'd love to hear your ghost stories um i'm now taking candy floss and i'm going to give him a little cheeky tongue and then i cured that or i flash cured that and then forgot to press record so i've written boo and done some little sort of swirly curly bits to make it look like he look like he is just popping out you know he's friendly hello um and that's him he will be topped with, with diamond gloss and that's the first one the first one looks kind of like the um what is it what am i thinking of snapchat is that the one with the ghost i think i don't use it um logo so we're now taking pixie purple and tooth fairy 
uh, both purples, as you can see. Uh, and I'm popping the pixie purple at the top and then some tooth fairy. And then I'm going to ombre those together, but just really roughly. This is going to be a sort of scene. So it's going to kind of be like sky and light and dark. So it really doesn't matter um, about the ombre. I think I think I was intentionally leaving it kind of, you know, a bit scratchy magoo. Scratchy magoo? Uh, on here. And then cure that and then did a second coat. The first one of these I did, I think I used different purples. So I prefer the ones I used in the second one. But I do cock this up, which I'll um, explain how to avoid in a minute. Uh, so I'm doing the second coat now. And then that will have a full cure as well. How's everybody doing? Are you doing anything for Halloween? Is Halloween still on this year or has it been cancelled? I presume, you know, going to multiple strangers' houses and accepting food from them probably isn't um, recommended in the midst of a global pandemic. <laughs> do you do anything normally? Is it changing this year? We don't really make that much of a big deal over here in the UK. Um, I wish we did, though. I love spooky stuff like that and Halloween and things, but we don't really, you know. I think we have a rule over here that if you have a pumpkin out or in the window or something, then you're okay for trick-or-treaters. If you don't, then, you know, bugger off. We don't want to know. I don't want to give you my food for nothing. What are you doing for me? <laughs> uh, I'm now outlining this in black, and this is where I kind of messed this up a bit. I took all of this, so I'm just scratching Again, sticking with the can't go wrong messy theme, um, although I am saying that I kind of went wrong. I brought it in a bit too far, so I should have done the initial line around the outside a bit thinner um, and then left more um, in the centre, more of the purple visible. Um, but I didn't, um, so I'm just scratching away. Again, no, no rhyme or reason, just pokey pokey, easy peasy, and then curing that. And now, so this is why I should have, shouldn't have taken it in too far, because I didn't leave myself much room to paint these bits. Um... <laughs> that was me giggling at something. Uh, so I'm doing a cross and a little tombstone, and then I'm going to add a crescent moon and a bat a bat that is they're kind of fiddly to draw bats aren't they um but i've kind of got my flyby bat um technique that i use now so i'm doing a lazy m and i need to sniff okay uh and then just doing i should have made his wings a bit curlier um just doing a little v inside underneath each wing and then a v in the middle that's my bat that's as much effort as i'm willing to give that uh, doing some dots for stars and then I decided to just go around it um, with some white just to kind of lighten it up a bit I don't know what the what the logic was behind this but it was happening and then I wrote um, oh no I did a bit oh, something was going on at the top of that nail I don't know what it was something was going on though I think I had to mess around with that for a bit um, just giving a bit of a highlight to the moon and then I think I did some on the cross as well. Do you ever, when you're working with black, because um, it's so shiny and I don't know, sometimes I it's almost invisible, like when I'm working with black. So I don't like what I did there, but never mind. Uh, and then I'm writing R-I-P um, on the gravestone, although that R is kind of looking a bit like an A. Ape. Ape. Maybe there's a, you know, illiterate monkey buried below there. Um, <laughs> uh, and then just going to pop that in the lamp I think that's all for that one and I topped this with um, shiny as well I did another Halloween set um, based around this sort of graveyard scene and there's a haunted house in black and orange and yellow I'll leave a link to that in the description below it goes into a bit more detail um, if you like that kind of um, design uh, so that's topped with diamond gloss and probably compared to the first one yes see i prefer the colors of the one we've done just now but the scene i left more room to do the scene on the other one um but there you go uh next up is blackout again it's kind of a recurring theme with halloween um and what happens with this 
I don't know. Do you know? What have we got? We've got Siren. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and this is a this is red is amazing. Um, it's like a neon red, and I full I figured I thought that this would be good. I'm doing some blood drips. Um, because it's such a neon red, it's going to show up really well on black, whereas a dark red might sort of, you know, lose its intensity a bit. Um, so I'm doing some blood drips on here, nice and thin. Um, I have done a nail with a, like a full set, a set of five, um, with some blood drips and some a mouth with vampire teeth. And what else did we do on it? A bat and a cross. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, that's quite a cool video. And just curving the top where it joins so it looks drippy and that's that nice and simple but with the blood um it is thinner um than when you're doing like paint drips or something um so make sure you keep it nice and thin the lines that you pull up um so that's why i don't use a dotting tool to do the dots for blood um because it becomes too sort of gloopy looking uh, that's getting topped with diamond gloss and cured um, possibly compared to another one. Yeah, that doesn't look as shiny because it's got my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> uh, there we go. What's next? That was quick. We like quick and easy. I'm now taking Summer Vibes. Summer Vibes. And Mojito. Um, so they're kind of similar. Well, they're not that similar. But they're going to ombre really nicely because they're both green. Um, colours that sort of naturally and near each other anyway god it sounds so nasal <sighs> um ombre really well um so if you're kind of new to ombre or you're a bit scared of it which is normal um then do colors that are going to naturally ombre nicely anyway like don't try and do a, a black to white ombre the first time you try ombre you're just you're just asking for trouble um, but these colours blended really nicely together. It was quite subtle and that's what I wanted, but it was super bright as well. Um, so do a rough ombre on those. Again, 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 again. We're just keeping it quick and easy. Um, and we're also going to be drawing over this. So you're not going to be focused on, on the blend at all. Um, and then that will go in the lamp before we start painting with blackout. Normally I'm so far behind and I'm, I'm ahead of myself. Probably because I'm in a hurry to get this voiceover done because I feel like turd. Um, and it's just sod's law. So that's been cured. And I'm now just going to do a line, a little triangle for a witch's hat. I'm going to do a few of those. And then some other witch related things. I couldn't think of witch related things. I thought hat, broomstick. What else? I did do a little cauldron but where it was so small it kind of you couldn't really make out what it was it just looked like a it just didn't look like anything um so I'm adding a moon and then I think I add some stars as well if an opportunity um ever presents itself to do moons and stars on something then I'm gonna do it it's gonna happen because I just love them uh so another hat and then fill that up with I think just those four um items things uh, and then probably pop some dots in as well just to fill in any gaps uh, there was a gap in the middle um that wasn't big enough to put anything in or did i put something in it i squeeze squeeze something in uh, so i'm just popping some dots around there this kind of cute i quite like that one and that's having diamond gloss as well nice and shiny my voice is so um and that be that one. Do we compare it to a summer's day? No. Uh, I'm now taking Neon Nights. And this is going to... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. I sneezed. It was a big one. This is going to be a patchwork um, design. So I'm flash curing the colours as I go just so I can um, push some colours up next to it. But some colours up is what I was trying to say. But I, I don't know. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> um, and then we... I did think about doing this in... Um, not Aunt Sally. That's from Wurzel Grummage. <laughs> um, uh, it's just Sally, I think her name is, isn't it? From Nightmare Before Christmas. 
I thought about doing it in those colours, like her dress, um, but I decided just to stick to Halloween colours because I thought I would do a Nightmare Before Christmas themed set, but I think, what's the date today? What is the date today? The 15th. Uh, is there time to do another Halloween one? Can I? Am I still in the Halloween mood? You know, this 10, 10 nails has been 20, essentially, so I had to do them twice. I've done a few others. I'll leave links to the other videos um, for Halloween nails that I've done. And actually, the I've filmed Sunday. the next video, which will be Sunday. I've filmed that already, and that has got skulls on it, so that could be classed as Halloween as well. Um, so this is Christmas Grinch. Uh, I'm going to give that a full cure and then just do a second coat of everything. Um, where I'm using the brush on a person, where I'm using the bottle brush there on a person, I'd probably use a detail brush for all of it. Um, obviously there's no finger around a pop, so it's easy to use the bottle brush um, sometimes. I'm now adding some Alaska in a square to the bottom. It's not going to stay white. It's going to have some tiger lily, the orange, over it but I wanted to do it white first so that the orange color would show up um, the same as it does at the top because it might be a bit darker um, on top of the green although the colors are so opaque that it probably wouldn't have been and I think I forgot to do a second coat of tiger lily so I had to do it after I'd done the white triangle at the top because they are so opaque you kind of I'm like have I done a second coat I don't know um, so I'm popping some orange there, and then we're going to do some Miss Sunshine in the triangle. Are we? No, I don't. I do the green, the Christmas Grinch. It'll be Christmas nails soon, won't it? Time to uh, time for Christmas nails. So I will. I think I'll do similar. Like this year, I started doing Halloween's Halloween nails um, in September, maybe, um, or towards the end of September, anyway, because uh, I've said before my clients will have themed nails like holiday themed nails in the lead up to the holiday so that they're not stuck with them after the holiday um so i've got someone who's having their christmas nails um i think the third week of november um so it'd be nice i'll get some christmas videos done um maybe not maybe i'll start at the beginning of november i think mind you we've got what two weeks left of october i think so might be sooner, might be sooner. Um, so I'm outlining those. Don't worry too much about how neat the outline is because it's fabric, it's clothes. And again, we are going for quick and easy designs. Um, so it doesn't matter if your lines aren't perfectly neat. Um, it looks, it's kind of a cool effect this. Once you get the stitching on, it sort of looks a lot cooler than without. Um, and I did some straight lines and then some crosses. And then I think I added... Um, just a sort of stitching patch looking thing on the purple uh, oh my nails look so awful they really ruin the video don't they i'm sorry i really i i messed up the both index fingers and thumbs are always the nails that i end up ruining the rest of them are still perfect they've got a lot of growth but they're still shiny and chip free um but uh those four do get a bit battered especially after you know, shit saw on Sunday, if you saw that video. Um, so I'm finishing off the stitching and then, as I say, I'm going to add this on the purple, just a little, I don't know, line and some stitches. Uh, and then I'm going to top this with matte um, because I thought, well, it's called Make It Velvet, the matte top coat I'm using. Um, all of the stuff is... Um, job fiction which you can get at diamondglitters.co.uk and you can use code team dg um, for a discount on the website so i've topped that with that do i compare that yes so that was the first one um and that's that and the next one is popsicle i'm not keen on well i'm not sure about this nail let me know what you think um i'm doing two coats of popsicle and then, sorry, I'm trying to silently blow my nose. Not an easy feat. Let me pause. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've done two coats of Popsicle and I'm drawing um, a line in Alaska, just sort of in the top portion. And then I'm going to do, is that line straight? Hmm, questionable. 
Um, I'm going to do three diagonal lines. No, no, I'm not doing two diagonal lines and one straight line. You can see. Um, I'm going to flash that and then make a cobweb here. And I wish I had done the after these first curly bits, done the others a bit closer, and left some of the um, vertical lines kind of free of curly line bits. Am I making sense? But I didn't, so but, yeah, that's a redundant tale. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to, before I do that, I'm going to take foil it, which is the clear foil gel, um, and I'm going to pop that on the bottom half, um, and then that's going to be cured for two minutes. I'm talking slower because I'm aware that I do talk a bit quickly. Um, so I'm taking this foil, slow down, um, from Diamond Glitters, look at it, it's called Shattered something, Shattered Purple, Lilac, Purple, Pink, there's hundreds on there, you have to look at their foils, there's just so many and they're all so amazing, and with this foil gel, you just get a perfect pick up every time, although I'm trying to put a bit at the top there, not realising that I'm using a bit of clear from the foil where it's already touched somewhere so I'm just doing patch foils on there and then I decided to top it with matte um, and then kind of wasn't sure about it I do like that and then I think I now go ahead and ruin it by um, yeah see I was thinking is something missing is it special enough so I decided to take diamond gloss and go over just the areas with the foil um, don't need to be neat about it um, just get it on there, um, just so they, because I thought that foil was so nice, it kind of felt a bit silly to make it matte and lose all the kind of hollow beauty of it, um, so I popped that just over the foil bits and cured that, and that is that, it's kind of just a nod to Halloween with a little bit of spider web, without being too gaudy, um, and now, <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, do you ever get like a shooting pinprick in your in your throat? It's like tiny and it's like super itchy. That just happened. Uh, I'm taking poison berry. I've done two coats of that. This nail is now wiped because I tried a few different things before settling with this. I'm now going to do gloop. See, this is where the ideas the, the ideas started to disappear. Um, and so it's similar to the blood, but it's although it kind of looks like um, a Picasso face there. Um, comparing myself to Picasso uh, and I'm now doing much thicker so I've used a dotting tool to do these um, initial blobs at the bottom so this is why when I do blood drips it's much different well I say much different it is different um, it's a bit different that was an exaggeration um, to doing paint or gloop drips um, they're much thicker um, and I'm going to do some like blobby bits in between the paint drips which I go a bit out of shot of, I'm afraid, sorry. And I was kind of thinking this is just kind of like Halloween goo. It, you know, like the Goosebump books. Not that I, they, they weren't a thing when I was a kid. It was Point Horror I used to read. I used to read all of those. One of them was really scary. I think I might try and find it, see if it's scary now. Um, so that was, I was going for that kind of gloopy, gooey, I don't know. Although it does kind of look like an aubergine looking at it now. <laughs> which is not Halloween-y at all. Um, this was in place of a pumpkin I did, and the first ten that I did, that I just didn't like, I wasn't happy with. The nail's the wrong shape to do a pumpkin. It was too long, it just didn't look, just didn't look right. Um, and I think that might be the last one. Um, is it Halloween-y, that one, or does it look like an aubergine? Let me know. <laughs> So that's all of them. They're all nice and easy and quick. I hope you like them. There's more intricate videos um, on my channel if you like to do sort of more intricate work. Uh, subscribe for lots more videos. Uh, hit the like button. Give you know If you can spare a click, it would mean a great deal to me. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I upload on YouTube on Thursdays and Sundays. So come back on Sunday for a skull. It's kind of a pink girly skull, but still glittery kind of vibe um, on Sunday. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the... What's she doing? Ready? <gasps> Next one. Bye-bye.